we're going to look at how we use stative and performative verbs. Stative verbs refer to a state which is relatively unchanging and it's not an action. Therefore, stative verbs relate to emotions, senses, relationships and so on. They are normally used in the present simple. The first example, Jack feels satisfied. This is telling us Jack's emotion, that he is satisfied. The stative verb is in the present simple. Jack feels satisfied. However, if the verb is in the present continuous, it changes the meaning slightly, indicating the situation is temporary or happening at the present time. The second example here says, Jack is feeling satisfied today. This is how he is feeling at this moment in time. Some verbs can have both state and action meanings. When they're used in the stative context, then they're normally in the present simple. When they're used in the action context, they can be in the present simple or the present continuous, dependent on the meaning of the verb within the sentence. Let's look at an example. The verb taste. So let's make a sentence in the present simple with just a state. So we want to say that uh, this taste has a distinct flavour. The sentence is, this coffee tastes bitter. The stative verb is tastes and the description of what that coffee tastes like is bitter. This is the state. This is a permanent. This is always bitter. Now let's make a sentence using an action stative verb. So this is the action of tasting something. The chef is tasting the food to make sure it has enough salt. This is in the present continuous. He is doing this at the moment. It could change. The state of that food that he's tasting could change. Mental stative verbs are usually used in the present simple. However, if there is a change in a way of thinking about something, either a change in attitude or becoming unsure of something, then the present continuous is used. Let's look at these two examples. I think that is a good idea. This is somebody's mental thinking, what they feel. I think that's a good idea. This is the present simple. The second example is in the present continuous. He is thinking about the job offer. His way of thinking is changing. He is thinking about what he will do. Interestingly, the words agree, believe, conclude, know and prefer are rarely used in the present continuous. For example, we would say she believes that's a good idea. We would never say she's believing that's a good idea. And finally, performative verbs. These just complete the action rather than describe it. When this occurs, the verb is used in the present simple. So by saying, I promise, you are making the promise. You are saying, now I promise you're going to do something. In negative sentences, the present simple and the present continuous have similar meanings. And we can use them with these sorts of words, remind, refuse, declare, deny, command, promise. We are performing something. For example, I can't promise that I can finish in time. The present simple, the negative form. I'm not promising that I can finish in time. The present continuous, the negative form, they both mean the same things. This person's not going to promise they can finish their activity on time. We also use modal verbs such as must, could, should. Words that give us the ability or the likelihood of something happening. So we use modals with performative verbs to make the sentence more polite, to be more formal. For example, you must promise not to do that again. The modal verb is must, the performative verb is promise. You must promise not to do that again. And that's how we use stative and performative verbs.